done. So you have all these people that are just weak and they don't have any strength and they're just weak and they are and the enemy speaks in them and tell them anything and they agree with it, like you said, Pat. And so true. it's all about humbling ourselves before the Lord and saying, Lord, um, I need you to move in my life. I need you, Lord, to help me. I need you, Lord, I'm feeling terrible. I'm feeling lonely. I'm feeling like I'm worthless. Mm-hmm. Lord, help me. This That's is where right. the answer comes. And they don't know the answer is Jesus Christ. Right. Right. That's true. I've had times where my attitude got so foul. I said, Lord, I'm smelling too much of me. My attitude is, my flesh is rising to the surface, Lord. Fill my heart with more love. Remove whatever's unclean in me, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. And Lord, when I ask him, will do an attitude adjustment in me. And then I'm like, chilling again. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can't just agree with every emotion and every thought and every attitude that comes to our mind. And this is what people aren't, they don't understand that, okay, you can quit this job. You you have the choice to do that. But know that if you do that without finding something else, there's something that's called a consequence that you may not have money to pay your rent. Simple things that people just are so emotional and so angry and right. so and they just listen and they they just do things without think about these things before you do them that's because right you know that pray about these things is this a good idea for me to do lord i'm feeling like i want to curse this person out or i'm feeling like i want to just uh fornicate and be in love lord but i know that there's a price that I'm going to have to pay for this. Now that price might be depression. That might be, price might be uh, loneliness. It just comes in so many different forms. It comes in infirmary and in different ways that it comes back on your life. But this is the cul- it's the culprit of everything. It's sin, mm-hmm. and that's the culprit. So many people right now that's so lost, and they don't understand the power of Jesus. That's right. So true. It's in the, uh, it's in the music industry, too. Yes. So, I used to listen to a lot of angry music. It was like, you know, it was music that made me feel like, hey, if you look at me wrong, I'll punch you in your mouth. Right. You know, but people don't, under, like she said, people don't understand. You might feel entitled to respect on the street or whatever you might feel like you're entitled to, but you can't do that. We're still a civilization. In which, if you do go and just run up, run up on somebody and punch them in the face, they're going to end up in jail. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> but, but people, but people, yeah, and then when people don't, a lot of the times, like when I would get angry, I, I've i walked out of jobs before, just like she said. And the next thing you know, I'm stressed out because I don't have a freaking job. I didn't, right. I didn't think. I just went on emotion. Right. And what happens is people, they... But without having like light in their life, they they don't even know that they did wrong. They're just like this person caused me to have to quit my job, and now I don't have one. I'm stressed out, but it's not ever their fault. It's somebody else. Right, 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 right. We love to blame the other person, yeah, for a decision we made. Right. Right. So, and then I would also say, you know, most people are too emotionally weak to be able to handle. Confrontation or difficult conversation. We, we've just been raised that way. We get everything that we want, and especially my generation and the one coming up under me, we get everything that we want, and then when things get hard, you just quit. You get something else. Your phone breaks, get another one. Your, your friend's getting on your nerves, find some other friends. It's very, uh, we don't know how to deal with with life. We don't. We really don't. I mean, with I adversity, you learn, yeah, yeah, which makes someone stronger. It makes someone a more capable human being. But our society runs from that, right? Or we don't get pain. We don't like being uncomfortable, so you just run from it your whole life, and you find yourself like lily pad hopping. <laughs> Can't put your feet down anywhere because there's always going to be complications. Lily pad hopping. Love it. And see, the enemy wants to draw you out of your character in any way that he can. That's what he does. He draws you out of your character. 
So if he can get you angry, if he can get you uh, in some kind of, that, that's what he does. And then you find yourself blaming, like you said, other people. But it's really your choice to say when someone says something instead of ignoring it and saying, especially sometimes at work and different places where the enemy knows that if he gets you to say uh, in arguments and uh, quitting jobs and different things like that, that he knows he can cause a whole bunch of havoc in your life because this is what you need. You need these people. Right. They don't need you, but you need them. Right. So we have to pray and say, Lord, is this what you want for me, Lord? I'm feeling, even if you have to cry to the Lord, and but still, if you if you feel led to look for something else, but strategize and seek the Lord in your strategy, mm -hmm. while you're strategizing, while you're strategizing to get um some get an understanding and and you know and just just in general to um to be able to walk in peace and to let the door because when a door Christ opened a door for you, no man can close it. When he closed it, no man can open it. Mm -hmm. But people today they don't. They don't honor that, and they don't even think about it. Mm -mm. I just kind of had that same that same feeling earlier, um, raised a little bit, angered because of the situation, and I did not like the feeling. I do not like feeling like that, and I kind of want to run away, you know, on a good way. But I know I have to stand and pray and really face it because you know, if I you know run away like that. All I'm doing is, you know, just running away, avoiding something that needs to be confronted. So, yeah, especially with that job, that job thing. Yeah, I've had times where I quit a job out of emotion. I've done that too. Uh, I have a person. I have a person in my family who uh, has big problems with the person who likes to start arguments on a continual basis. And I've told him that that is uh, demons trying to start arguments with him. Right. And I've explained to him how it all works. And I says, the thing that demons hate the most is when you won't address them and start the argument. If they're trying to start an argument, if you will not participate in that argument, they get really irked. <laughs> and so he has learned to not participate. So when these demons start attacking them, which is all the time, he just smiles and turns away and walks away without even addressing them. Awesome. <laughs> you put the devil in his place. You don't let the devil put you in the place he thinks you belong. You take authority over the whole situation and yourself.